Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me. Uh, this is the Virginia Tech Information Session. Uh, my name is Tyler Oxley. I am one of the Senior Assistant Directors in the Undergraduate Admissions Office. Um, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for, for spending some time with me today to learn more about the transfer opportunities um, that Virginia Tech offers. Um, you can see my um, email address up in the top right hand corner up there, uh, toxley, T-O-X-L-E-Y at vt.edu. Um, if you have any questions after this session, feel free to send me an email. Also in the bottom right hand corner is a QR code. Um, if you would like to learn um, more about Virginia Tech and be added to our email list, um, you can sign up uh, by uh, using that QR code there to take you to, to our information page where you can um, sign up to, to be added to our email address. Um, first of all, a little bit about Virginia Tech. Um, Virginia Tech is a large public comprehensive university located in the uh, Commonwealth of Virginia. Uh, Virginia is on the east coast of the U.S. Um, it's, a, it's a large state. Uh, it is kind of straddles the, the border of the northern part of the U.S. and the southern part of the U.S. Um, it, Virginia Tech is a large university. We have about 37,000 students that are studying on our campus. Um, our main campus is located in Blacksburg, Virginia, which is in the southwest corner of the state. Um, it's a rural campus. Um, we're kind of out in the, 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 the countryside, up in the mountains. Um, it's a beautiful place to come and study. Um, it, you know, it's a real college-oriented town, so kind of everything revolves around uh, the campus and the university. Uh, there's loads of things to do outdoors. It's uh, if you like hiking and biking um, up in the mountains or go on the lake you know, or hanging out on the river. Um, there is an abundance of, of outdoor activities, but there's also um, loads of things to do in the community on campus because we are such a large university. There's always things going on and, and ways for you to to take, you know, to, to do things other than study or research. Um, we have well over 900 different clubs and organizations for you to get involved with. So, you know, yeah, you're going to be a transfer student coming into the university. You might not know too many people, um, but there's loads of opportunities for you to get involved, um, to try new things, to, to find your home here on campus. Um, we are a transfer friendly university. Each year we bring in over a thousand transfer students um, to our campus. So um, you're not going to be alone as a transfer student. We have a lot of different um, ways to enhance your orientation. Um, we have peer mentorship programs and I'll talk a little bit more about those in a minute. Um, so uh, as far as the programs that we offer, um, we are, like I mentioned, we are a comprehensive university, so we have a little bit of everything. Um, Virginia Tech was founded as an engineering and um, agriculture school, so we do put a lot of emphasis on those two areas. Uh, but since we've been founded, you know, we've, we've branched out, we have all different types of programs. Um, so each of the, the majors that we offer is part of one of the colleges, and I'll go through and talk a little bit about um, a major or two in each of these different colleges here. Um, the first college, College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we were founded as an ag school, so we do put a lot of emphasis on the, on the crop sciences, dairy sciences, um, animal and poultry sciences. Uh, we do have an equine center. We have a goat center. We have a, a dairy farm as well. Um, a lot of the, so all the milk that students drink on campus comes from Virginia Tech cows. Um, we have uh, farms uh, that help uh, supply food for our food and dining center. So, uh, you know, if you enjoy the, the, the ag side of things, there's loads of different programs that we offer and opportunities for you to get involved there. Next up is the College of Architecture and Urban Studies. Um, this has programs such as landscape architecture, interior design, uh, building construction, art, uh, and those types of programs. Um, next up is the College of Engineering. Uh, engineering is our largest program. Um, we have 14 different engineering majors, uh, everything from computer science to computer engineering, mechanical, civil engineering, ocean engineering, aerospace, uh, civil, um, you know, all different types of engineering. Um, and we, uh, we have a really strong engineering school. We are one of the top 15 new engineering programs in the US. Uh, and so, you know, it's definitely loads of opportunities to get involved in research or internships, um, co-ops, things like that. Um, our engineering program does a lot, has a lot of different opportunities there. 
Uh, next up is the College of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences. Uh, this is our largest college in terms of the number of majors uh, that, that we have. We have everything from languages such as French, um, Chinese, Arabic. Uh, we also have international relations, political science, public policy programs, as well as human sciences such as criminology and sociology. Uh, you know, um, it's a really diverse program, college, um, a lot of different programs in a lot of different areas. Uh, next up is the College of Natural Resources and Environment. Uh, this is our smallest college, but it ha we are the number one ranked forestry program um, in the country. We're the number one ranked natural resources um, uh, program in the U.S. as well. So it's a really, really strong program. Um, has everything from you know forestry to water resource management to um, supply or excuse me to um, packaging systems and designs. You know, so uh, definitely take a look there if you're interested in in natural resources and environmental um, sustainability and those sorts of things. Um, next up is the Pamela College of Business. Um, obviously, it's our business school it has your traditional business majors, you know, finance, marketing, accounting, um, those sorts of general business programs. Um, and then as well as some non-traditional business degrees, such as real estate, hospitality and tourism management, as well as a program called Business Information Technology, um, BIT, uh, which is a really popular program, not only for students, but for, for employers as well. Um, a lot of the students that, that are in the BIT program have, have jobs lined up by the time they're ready to graduate because of the, the opportunities within it. Um, and then lastly, we have the College of Science. Um, this has your, you know, your traditional science uh, degrees such as biological sciences, chemistry, physics, mathematics, um, geosciences, geology, um, and things of that nature. Um, and then we do have two professional schools at Virginia Tech. We have the Virginia Tech Carilion School of Medicine um, and the Virginia Maryland College of Vet Medicine as well. All right. Um, as far as uh, starting your journey and looking at uh, transferring to Virginia Tech, there's a couple resources that we have that are really important for you to learn more about what we're looking for in the admissions process, what sort of courses you should be taking. Um, and uh, one of the, the good resources is our transfer roadmaps. Um, this has information on what specific courses we're going to expect transfer students to have when they're applying to the university. So, you know, if you're applying to engineering, the requirements are going to be different than if you're applying to a, a liberal arts major, for example. Um, and so this is a great resource for you to learn a little bit more about specific um, requirements. So for example, if you're looking at engineering, um, we're going to be requiring two semesters of, of calculus, um, as well as two semesters of freshman writing, and then at least one semester of physics um, or chemistry with a lab. And, you know, um, this, the transfer roadmaps website has all the different majors listed so you can kind of figure out exactly what what your uh, plan moving forward can look like as far as your schedule. Um, we also do have uh, what we call our transfer guide. Um, this has great information to learn how courses from Broward College are going to transfer to Virginia Tech. So you can go to this website here um, and find the college and then type in the and find the courses that you've taken and just just verify how those are going to transfer over. Virginia Tech is relatively um, uh, friendly when it comes to transferring. You know, most of the courses that you are taking at Broward are going to transfer over, uh, but it is always a good idea to, to utilize that database just to learn a little bit more about how those courses are going to transfer so there's no surprises. Um, we also do award credit for AP courses, IBs, um, if you took those in high school. Um, so you can also learn more about how those, course, how those um, uh, courses might transfer over as well. Um, we also have some uh, helpful information via our virtual Hokie Corner. Um, this is your opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with uh, someone from the admissions office as well as someone from our um, advising team. Uh, this is a great opportunity to, to learn more about the admissions process and also about what life is on campus, what the transition looks like as a transfer student. Um, you can sign up for one of these 30-minute appointments using the uh, website down in the bottom there. Um, we, we do them uh, usually at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. Um, depending on, on how busy things are. Uh, but um, definitely take advantage of this. This is a great opportunity to have all your questions answered and meet with, um, our, meet with us just to learn a little bit more about um, the admissions process as, as well as you know, what life is like on campus. 
Uh, we also have some other uh, tra transfer student programming for admitted students. Um, we have a transfer student organization, you know, kind of a, a hub for transfer students. We also have a living and learning um, experience as well. So we, we have a um, a, a room or a dorm, um, a floor in one of the dormitories on campus that is just set aside for transfer students. So um, it's kind of a, another hub as well for transfer students. So, you know, you can live with other transfer students to, you know, have that built in um, uh, help and mentorships uh, as well. We also do have a transfer peer mentor program. Um, you know, this is a great opportunity to have someone um, as a mentor, you know, who can help you with that, you know, during that first semester or first year of, of study, you know, someone who was a transfer student and kind of knows exactly what you're going through so that, you know, they can help you, help guide you and, and kind of encourage you to, to seek resources or, you know, how to, um, wh where to go in the library for specific books or, you know, all the different types of things that, that you need to know once you're on campus. Um, and so, you know, those are great resources to help that that first year transition as a transfer student. Um, as far as applying to Virginia Tech, uh, we utilize the Common App as our transfer application. So um, it's pretty straightforward to apply. We have several different uh, deadlines depending on which term you're going to be applying for. The vast majority of students start their journey at Virginia Tech in uh, fall term, um, which is September or excuse me, August uh, start date. So the, the deadline for, for a fall term start date is March 1st to apply. Um, you, we, we release decisions in the middle of April. If you're looking for spring term, um, the, the deadline to apply is October 1st um, and the uh, courses would begin uh, middle to late January. Um, again, spring transfer is relatively small. Um, you know, mo most students are gonna begin their, their time at Virginia Tech in the fall term. Um, as far as estimated costs go for, for international students, uh, out-of-state students, generally we estimate tuition to be around $34,000 with room and board to be around $10,000. Um, that room and board cost is uh, on-campus living. Generally, it's cheaper to live off-campus. Uh, most transfer students are going to live off campus. Um, it's generally less expensive. Um, you have a little bit more freedom um, to choose where you live, who you live with, and things like that. So total costs, um, we, we estimate around 44, 45,000. Um, that doesn't include like your books or health insurance and things like that. So, you know, generally we estimate around 50,000 per, per year to study um, for two semesters. Um, why are students choosing Virginia Tech? Uh, we are a growing university. Uh, we, we've been growing for the last uh, five, 10 years now. Um, and there's a lot of different reasons for that. Um, we have some fantastic outcomes for our students. Um, our graduation rate is 83%. Compare that to the national average of 49%. Um, our retention rate is really high as well. Um, well over 90%. Last year is around 93%. Um, again, significantly higher than the national average. That has a lot to do with the types of resources that we have for students. Um, you know, whether you need help on the academic side or on the personal side, there's a lot of people on campus who want to help you succeed while you're here. Um, we also have several different tutoring sessions. Um, we have a specific, uh, we have a writing center, a math center, you know, just to, to make sure that you have the resources that you need um, to help um, if you have any challenges during your time here. Uh, we also have a very high um, strong outcomes for our students. Um, average starting salary is well over $60,000. Again, that has a lot to do with the, the programs that we offer, but also the opportunities that you have once you're here to, to build a strong resume. We are a research oriented university, and so we do put a lot of emphasis on making sure you have opportunities outside the classroom to gain those experiences working with faculty members in our research centers or research labs, or to take advantage of the, the internships that we offer, um, you know, just to help enhance your education um, outside the classroom. We also have um, one of the best food and dining facilities of any college in the country. Um, that's one thing we're, we're known for. We have the number two ranked food and dining center. Um, we have really content students. And so that, you know, all that together, you know, kind of shows why Virginia students are choosing Virginia Tech. And so I can hope, I hope that you um, will, uh, you know, take a look at Virginia Tech a little bit more closely. Um, I do recommend giving us a follow on social media. We are active on Instagram. 
We do student takeovers so you can learn a little bit more about life on campus, um, student day-to-day -day experiences and things like that. Again, the QR code there, um, if you'd like to be added to our email list, just take a, a picture of that or, and scan it. Um, and it'll take you to a website where you can add in your information. Likewise, feel free to email me. My email address is toxley at vt.edu. Thank you uh, for spending some time with me today um, and hope you uh, enjoy your, your time at Broward as, and then wish you the best of luck on wherever you choose to, to continue your education. Um, thanks and have a great day.